In the dystopian nation of Pan Am, citizens from the 12 districts are subjected to submission by a cruel game. Each year, every district must select a girl and a boy to participate in a fight to the death challenge called the Hunger Games until one person remains. In the 12th district, teenager Katniss Everdeen sneaks into a forbidden forest to hunt an animal to trade for a meal in the town. Just as she is about to shoot a deer, she is interrupted by her close friend Gale. The two discuss the upcoming Hunger Games, glad to have survived being chosen for so long. Gale shares a piece of bread with Katniss and suggests that the two run away from the district and the strict rules imposed on them. However, Katniss has her younger sister Primrose to care for while Gale has his brothers, so eloping is not a good plan. The two bid each other farewell, hoping that the game the following day favors them and neither is chosen. Back in their shabby apartment, Katniss consoles Primrose while ignoring their mother. In the morning, Primrose and Katniss prepare themselves for the selection, seeing as this will be Primrose's first tribute reaping. All the citizens assemble in the district square, where a woman wearing peculiar makeup, Effie Trinket, starts the selection ceremony. First, the citizens watch a short video explaining how being selected to participate in the Hunger Games is an honor and each victor is a hero. After the video, Effie draws a random card from a large bowl. Katniss is devastated when Prim's name is read. As Prim starts walking towards Effie, Katniss interferes and volunteers on her behalf. This is the first time anyone has volunteered for the games from this district, so she can play. Effie then calls the second name, and a guy called Peter Malark is selected. The tributes are given time to say their goodbyes to their loved ones. Katniss promises Prim that she will win and return home. She has Gail promise to take care of her family and warns her mother against falling back into old habits as she is the sole breadwinner of the family. Katniss and Peter are to be escorted to the capital by Effie as their chaperone. They get on a train and are astonished by the luxurious food awaiting them. The trio is joined by the only District 12 Hunger Games winner, Haymitch Abernathy. Haymitch is a mean drunk, but once he regains composure, he tells the two that the most crucial thing in the game is to get people to like you. This guarantees you sponsors, who can send you life-saving gifts when you need them in the game. The group gets to the capital, where the tributes undergo a series of scans and thorough washing to get them ready. Katniss meets her makeup artist and stylist, Sinner. Sinner also emphasizes the importance of sponsors and develops a method to get the two to stand out before the other competitors. Many people gather in the Capitol Hall to witness the televised Hunger Games while people in various districts watch through their TVs. On the introduction night, Katniss and Peter drive in a chariot with their bodies on fire. This entrance gets them instant attention and everyone starts rooting for District 12. After the introductions, President Coriolanus Snow addresses the people, reminding them of the importance of the games and hoping to meet the winner in two weeks. Before starting the games, the tributes have to undergo training on how to survive in the jungle. They also learn how to use various weapons, but are warned that most will die of extreme weather as compared to being hunted. Over dinner, Peter mentions Katniss's archery skills. He laments how no one believes he could ever be a winner, including his own parents. Katniss remembers the first time she had encountered Peter in the district and how kind he had been. During practice, Katniss realizes that the tributes from the well-off districts are better trained and equipped as they have dedicated their entire lives to playing the Hunger Games. Haymitch calls them the careers and they win almost every year. Soon, the tributes have solo performances to impress the sponsors. Katniss demonstrates her archery skills, but no one pays attention. This forces her to shoot at a sponsor's apple, infuriating yet impressing the sponsors. The last assessment test scores come in and Katniss ranks better than all the players. The tributes are interviewed for television by popular host Caesar Flickerman. Katniss impresses the crowd with her wit and does the fire stunt again. When it's Peter's turn, he confesses that he has a crush on Katniss. After the interview, Katniss furiously shoves Peter for making her seem weak, but Haymitch believes this could work to their advantage as it portrays her as desirable. The D-Day arrives and the tributes are prepared for the game. Katniss bids a sorrowful farewell to her team as she and Peter are transported to the game arena. Meanwhile, the president meets with the game master, Seneca Crane, saying that the game aims to inspire hope in the citizens and prevent further revolutions. The players find themselves around a cornucopia, a large structure that marks the starting and ending point of the game. As the clock counts down, the players get ready to grab whatever supplies they can in preparation for the game. Katniss wants to grab some things too, so she ignores Peter's warning about running into the woods. As soon as the countdown is over, all of the players save for Peter run to the supplies. However, the careers get there first and kill as many people as possible. Katniss grabs a bag but is attacked by another player. 
Luckily, someone kills the player before he can eliminate Katniss. However, the person, Clove, goes after Katniss next, but she manages to run away and hide in the woods. Katniss finds a rope and an empty bottle in her bag. She quickly finds water and then ties the rope around her waist as she intends to hide up in the trees. Later that night, Katniss learns that over half of the players have been eliminated. Katniss' game plan is to avoid the others by fleeing as deep into the woods as possible. However, Seneca soon catches up to her plan and asks one of the technicians to intervene. Katniss is woken up on a tree by smoke and realizes the forest is on fire. She starts running away while Seneca throws several fireballs at her to lead her back to the others. Fortunately, Katniss escapes the fire but sustains a severe burn on her thigh. She jumps into a river to treat her injury, but the Koreas soon spot her and start chasing her. Katniss climbs a tall tree and the Koreas' leader, Kato, tries to follow her, but he slips and falls. Another archer, Glimmer, tries to aim at Katniss but she misses. Peter, who has joined the group, asks them to conserve their energy and wait Katniss out. In the middle of the night, a small parachute lands on the tree, showing that Katniss has her first gift. The gift is an ointment for her thigh injury and a note asking her to win the game. In the morning, Katniss is drawn to the youngest tribute, Rue of the 11th District. Rue discreetly directs Katniss to release a nest of genetically modified venomous wasps on the careers sleeping below. Katniss quickly does this, sustaining a few stings herself. The attack is enough to send everyone running for their lives, but Glimmer succumbs to the wasps. Katniss grabs Glimmer's bow and arrows and runs away, but passes out from the sting sustained. She remembers when her father died in an explosion and how her mother isolated herself in grief, explaining their estrangement. When she comes to, she finds Rue has taken care of her injuries and the two become friends. They devise a plan to get more supplies, but Katniss blows up the supplies to trigger the surrounding landmines. She reunites with Rue, who has been trapped under a net. However, someone approaches them from behind, causing Katniss to turn around and shoot the intruder. She turns back to Rue and finds that the intruder had already thrown a spear and it's lodged in Rue's body. The two share last moments, with Rue urging Katniss to win. After she passes, Katniss adorns her body with flowers as a riot breaks in District 11. Later, Katniss hears an announcement saying that this year, two people from one district can be crowned winners. This is after Haymitch tells Seneca that the love story between Katniss and Peter will calm the riots. Katniss finds a heavily wounded Peter by the river and the two hide in a cave. Another announcement informs the survivors of some supplies at the cornucopia. Katniss runs to get the supplies but is attacked by Clove again, who brags about eliminating Rue. Before Clove can harm Katniss, District 11's male tribute Thresh appears and eliminates her for taking out Rue. He spares Katniss for the time being. Katniss returns to the cave and helps Peter heal overnight. The following day, the two separate as they hunt for food. A cannon goes off and Katniss runs toward Peter, suspecting he's perished. Fortunately, Peter is alive, but the two discover Foxface dead after eating some of the wild berries Peter was collecting. Now that most players have been eliminated, Seneca unleashes genetically modified beasts which destroy Thresh and chase after the two, causing them to seek refuge on top of the cornucopia. The two encounter Kato and a fierce fight ensues, during which Kato headlocks Peter and uses him as a shield against Katniss' arrows. Peter directs her to shoot Kato's hand, allowing him to throw Kato to the beasts and Katniss mercy kills him. However, Seneca changes the rules again, saying only one can be the victor. Peter wants Katniss to eliminate him. Knowing that the games must have a winner, Katniss retrieves the poison berries, saying they should die together. Seneca implores them to stop and declares them winners. In the aftermath, the two are crowned by President Snow, but Haymitch is worried that Katniss' trickery and defiant acts will cause more misery than good. The two return home just as the President locks Crane in a room with the poison berries while planning his next move. Do leave a comment telling us your favorite part of the movie. Hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next recap. Until next time folks, take care and goodbye.